Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. This time we have the Matsubara Blue or Algami Number no. 2 Nashiji Honetsuke 160mm knife. So uh, these have a three layer construction. On either side of that hard core cutting steel, there is a stainless cladding. Uh, the core steel is Algami or Blue Paper Number no. 2 Reactive High Carbon Steel. Heat treat is not specified, excuse me, easy for me to say, but it's around probably 62, maybe 61, 62 Rockwell. The stainless cladding covers each side uh, for lower maintenance, and it does come up, it looks like, over the top of the spine as well. Uh, you can see that core steel peeking out at the edge there. So uh, reactive steel at the edge and stainless steel on the cladding or the sides of the knife. The... Um, Knife does have a really interesting kind of a nishiji or what's known as a pear skin finish to it. It's got some hammer marks in it from being hand hammered, so it's got a lot of kind of refined rustic charm to it. These are really cool, really cool blades. Very interesting looking knives. The weight and dimensions will vary a bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 146 grams or 5.1 ounces. The edge length is about 160 millimeters or six and a quarter inches overall length about 295 millimeters or 11.6 inches with this handle the spine these are fairly thick knives and they're very stiff uh, you actually want that typically in this style of blade but so they've got about three millimeters coming out of the handle and then I measured about 2.9 halfway down and you can see we hold a lot of that all the way down till you hit the the reverse sword tip corner here and then you can see the tip is pretty stout as well which is kind of nice on a knife like this if you're going to get into joints and things. Uh, you can see the grind comes really low, uh, so it's an abrupt grind to make a quick, you know, pop out to the thickness of the blade, so you can see that style right there. Blade height at the back is 43 uh, millimeters approximately which is kind of typical of this style of knife. Handle is a well done, nicely finished octagonal with uh, rosewood with the black pack of wood ferrule. We've got nice fit and finish on it as well as the tang install. Smooth. Handle circumference is around 74, 75 millimeters where the two materials meet. Um, balance point on this is a little bit less, you know, of a big deal, but there's your balance point. Depending on how you like to hold these knives. Um, out of the box edge, it's had a pretty decent out of the box edge on it. I'd say maybe five, six out of ten. Uh, what's interesting is these have a really cool, kind of a heavy, uh, heavily textured Nashiji finish. There is hand chiseled kanji on it, engraving on it. And you can definitely feel that when you run your fingers across it. So there's our beauty shot. Sorry, I had to bump the thing there. So take a look at that. You can see a lot of nice texture, some hammer marks on it. Um, you've got a polished spine, polished choil. So it's nice fit and finish on these, even though there's a lot of rustic characteristic to them. They do a nice job on fit and finish. So this is a very interesting looking knife. The grind is taken almost to a zero grind. So uh, they pretty much pull it down right, whoever finished these, finished it down almost to a zero grind, so you don't really see much of a shiny edge bevel itself. Um, you could definitely tweak that if you wanted to, depending on your personal preference, of course. Put an actual, you know, finished bevel on it if you want. Here's the profile, just in case you want to see it on a cutting board. But again, this is not usually used on the cutting board too much. It's uh, meant for taking down poultry. I don't know for sure, but this might make a good cheese knife possibly because you've got a lot of um, quick thickening up to splay the ingredients apart. So it may it may um, not stick too much when you cut that. I don't know. I've never tried it, but possibility. I'm just thinking here. So really cool blade. Uh, this is a neat line of knives. It's well crafted. It's got a lot of interesting character to it. So this is the Matsubara Algami or Blue Number no. Two Nashiji. Honeske 160 millimeter knife.